Lucas Media. Shout out to the ones that support me and the ones who hate me. So, Kalen Clark was selected number one overall last night by the Indiana Fever. And once that came out, her contract came out, how much she'll make per year, which caused an uproar online. In her first year, she's making $76,000. Second year, $78,000. Third year, $85,000. And her fourth year is an option where she'll make $97,000. Now, of course, people who are just now watching women's basketball are complaining about that there's a gender gap and she's unfa- unfairly paid. And I even seen somebody on his on his some guy on his page talking about it. And look, honestly, the WNBA has not does not make a profit. The NBA actually funds the WNBA, which keeps them afloat. So what you guys are seeing is what a lot of women have been, WNBA players have been complaining about. Now, the point, the reason why they're paid so low is because, again, they don't turn a profit and nobody really watched the games and nobody really puts, they don't put butts in the seats. Now, hopefully with Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese and all these other WNBA players coming in, that's going to change but this doesn't surprise me and it should not surprise you nobody's going to pay somebody a million dollars a year per player and they're not even making a profit now the good thing is caitlin i'm sure is making four times as much money she's probably making at least a million dollars a year in endorsements but just like the nfl just like the nba Player salaries were low. I believe Magic was the first million dollar a year athlete in the 80s. And then even with that, it was Michael Jordan that took it to the next level. And that's when they was able to get new TV deals and the game expanded globally. And now some of these players, even though they spoiled, some of these players are making 50, 60 million dollars a year. So maybe this Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese would be the first two to do it. I mean, Angels with a big with a big market team and Caitlin. While she's with a small market team, she's going to have the whole state of Indiana behind her. And I'm sure the WNBA is going to try to put as many marketing dollars behind her as they as they can, hopefully. you know. And if they turn out to be great players, the people that will come up behind them are going to make even more money when the WNBA get a new TV deal. So I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.